If you don't know who I am, I'm Anton Nokban. And today, I want to talk to you guys about something that is near and dear to my heart. It may seem like such a small thing to you guys or not even that relevant. But to me, it's a huge part of my life. It has been everything to me and has also been my safe place for the like past 20 years. And I would like to introduce you guys to my home, Merville Park. So I'd like to do a quick run through on Merville. It is located along West Service Road. And it is bordered to the east by Taguig, the north by Pasay, the south by Barangay Sun Valley and Don Bosco, and the it also has the size of about 100 hectares. In terms of infrastructures, there are of course roads and there are alleyways as well. Occasionally, they could also be for cars but usually they're just for pedestrians. And at the entrance, there is an area dedicated for tricycles which can be used to get around here in Merville. And th there's also an issue with the sidewalks. There are some roads where wherein the sidewalks are being used by people to park their cars. So most of the time, uh, pedestrians are walking on the road and the roads aren't that big. So, you know, you just got to be careful. The airport is quite near. So like the noise from the airplanes passing by is quite noticeable. But over time, you'll get used to it. I usually don't mind it when I'm having naps or asleep at night. Uh, in terms of greenery, there's an ample amount of greenery in the area. There are, uh, a, there are a pretty big amount of parks in the area and there are lots of trees and greenery there and as well as trees in between houses. 43 years ago, uh, Merville was established on April 3, 1978 and there are about 30,000 people in the area, according to the last population census. Most of them are my age, around in their 20s. And their parents are usually at around their 50s to 60s. So, like, the average age in the area is around 30. And majority of them are already working. Merville is so much more than just a place to me. Some places are just meant to have houses, buildings, uh, places where people live in, reside in. But I'd like to think that this place gives you more than a house, but also an actual home. It gives you a sense of security knowing that your neighbors are not only your neighbors, but they're your family. This led to us to have a gift that we are grateful to have which is people we trust and love in our immediate area, in our happy community that I'm really proud to call home. My proposed program is a recreational place. As I grew older, and especially during the pandemic, I saw how important life outside our house was. I saw that the small and big things that happened outside our household were detrimental to our growth. Being an aspiring architect, I realized that I needed to create a space where people can find out more about themselves and grow and interact with other people. Being able to empathize with your clients as well as the people around you is a big part of the job. I also realized that not only am I the only one who feels this way, but also the other people around me, the neighbors that I consider to be family. My goals are to provide children with safe spaces to play in. It also will encourage a more holistic growth and also awareness of the outdoors. Having open spaces and playgrounds also exposes park goers to nature and that can also help with psychological and social health. My objectives on the other hand are to provide a recreational area to encourage people to appreciate, enjoy, and feel at home outside of their homes. Because of the prominent mall culture, uh, there has been a lack of open spaces. Having more recreational areas 
will decrease the human traffic in malls and I feel like you'll feel better to feel at home like instead of going out out you can go like out just outside of your home but you'll still feel at home you feel food parks also I feel like having food stalls uh, in this recreational place will also help uh, local businesses local and small businesses aside from giving them a platform to grow it will also leave room for innovation and independent work so for my form finding I started with a cylindrical shape because I thought of the activities to be in one general place for it to be more immersive. I then decided to cut a circular hole in the middle for it to have an open air, open air area located on the ground floor. I then proceeded to push down more than half a circle to provide another open area on the top of the structure. That same half circle is then pushed up for it to be the centerpiece, the second floor where all the main stuff is going to be. Lastly, a part will be pulled out to have more space for the food stalls where it will be located. So I'd like to talk about the programs that I incorporated into my recreational place. So for the first floor, I decided to put the work area and art and crafts room here so to minimize the noise that would be coming from the other floors and the other areas of the recreational place for the second floor i decided to put uh, the lounge the entertainment area and the music area all here uh, i decided to put it around in a circular path so that Essentially, it's all in one general place and I also decided to put uh, food stalls in a dining area on the third floor so that uh, for those who want to eat or, you know, have a quick snack, uh, it would give them the convenience of just, you know, going upstairs instead of having to order from Food Panda or Grab or, you know, going elsewhere to get some food. Just to wrap this all up, this is essentially a place for children or even teenagers to have whilst growing up. I would like to say that I have had a fun childhood here, and I know my dad would agree. He also lived here in the area, and until now, he still has friends around here who still live here, and he knows in his heart that he enjoyed. I feel like in the de development of the today's world, it has given a lot of people a lot and has also taken a lot from us. And I feel like having this recreational place would help a lot in giving people an experience to remember with people who would make a huge impact on their lives. Like with what God has taught us, love your neighbors as you love yourself.